Hey guys, Steven here to give you a few quick tips and tricks to help you increase your strength and balance in your precision technique. The base workouts that I like to use in order to increase strength in my precision are the toe raise, the calf raise, the squat, and then the one-legged squat, often referred to as a pistol. Now, for the toe raise and the calf raise, the best ways to do it are to start off with your feet facing parallel to each other, directly in front of you. And you want to make sure on the toe raise, you raise up on your heel, bring the toes up. And on the calf raise, raise up onto your toes, bring the heels up. Do each of these workouts starting with your feet directly parallel, opening them out, closing them back up together in order to hit every muscle group in that lower leg. Now the squat, that's one, in my opinion, it's a total body workout. It's something that we did whenever we were kids and it's over time, we kind of forgot how to do. With a squat, you want to make sure you keep your chest up, keep your back straight. I like to have my feet parallel. Some people's feet are going to go out. The important thing is you keep your knees tracking over your feet. As you go down, keep everything straight until you hit parallel with your hips. Whenever you break parallel, it's natural for your shoulders to kind of dip in a little bit. Either way, just keep that back straight. Now remember one important thing on the squat, whenever you stand back up to full, squeeze your glutes and tighten the abs to make sure that you're getting back to a full position. Keep the heels on the ground through the squat. Let yourself power up through the heel. Remember on the pistol, it's okay to do it next to a wall in order to give yourself the stability to get back up just in case you don't think you can. Also, you can just go to parallel without breaking parallel if you can still get back up and keep that heel on the ground. The next step for building strength is called a plyometric workout. Plyometric workouts are in regards to anything that involves jumping, which parkour involves a whole lot of. To start off, I like to do flat ground plyometrics, which is why I like a ground like this. With something like this, I can use the lines to simulate precisions and go over and over, starting slow, and picking up the pace as I go along until finally I'm at my fastest, most controlled pace with as much distance as I can get. The second kind of plyometric workout that I like is a box jump. So instead of doing the precisions on flat ground, just go directly up onto a wall, come back down. My favorite way to do these is on a stair with a level planter next to it so that you can gradually increase the difficulty as you go.
finally, include your box jump with your flat ground plyometric. In order to do a good bounding precision, up to a box jump to really work those fast switch muscles. A lot of people's biggest obstacle is going from rail to rail. What I'm gonna demonstrate now is a way to simulate jumping onto a rail. Start off by jumping off. Instead of having your heels, your entire foot on a wall like normal, just your toes and the balls of your feet are on the back of the ledge. End off by landing the same way on another ledge. We'll simulate a rail to rail precision on a wall. Finally, to build up your confidence whenever it comes to your balance, just get on top of a wall, get on top of a rail, walk around, do your squats, do your pistols, do your calf raises. Ultimately, just get on top, let yourself be comfortable. I'm Steven, have a nice day.